Hello everyone, welcome back to the Strategy Meeple's YouTube channel. I'm Kapil and today we are continuing our series of Road to 600 ELO. Okay, so I created this table. Let me just check what edition this is. Okay, this is the first edition. Uh, identical board for both players and we are playing on board number 8. So yeah, I don't think I played on this board in this series, so that should be fun. 4 and a 4, 4 and a 5 for our opponent. Okay, let's grab the mine. Let's grab water. Yeah, I really want the mine because on this board, it's always good to have this connection early on to set up some early income. And having that connection kind of gives you um, more options to go up this way. Okay, our opponent is going for animals right away. That's uh, interesting. I'm so tempted to put this mine down, but they also left this other water for us. So I don't think I can just yet. So I'm just going to take the other water, keep it safe. The thing is, it is important being player one on this board, but at the same time, it's not super important. Um, like I have won and also like not won many games in which I've, I had the water lead. So it's just something to note. Okay, so let's, we can place the mine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Our opponent can grab this other pair of sheep that I'm concerned about. So I think I'm going to try and stop them from doing that. I don't want to give them like this huge an animal lead so early on. I'm okay with them completing the animals. I just don't want them to complete it with the same type of animal. Okay. So yeah, just looking at the record while we are waiting for our turn. So this is game number four that we are playing today. So far, we have played three games. We won all three. Just steady count of ELO. And yeah, just seeing how many games it takes us to reach. Um, to reach um, 600. Okay, man, this is really tempting. Okay. It is us, right? Yeah. So I'm going to sell goods. Can I place anything? No, I cannot place anything. Maybe I just place it. Take this. Oh, no. Uh, okay. I guess I can place it. And place this sky over here one and a four opponent will complete a region that's fine yeah i wish i could really have gotten that three that's okay i can try to think here for a second if i do one like this Tile number 24 is pretty good, but hmm. Let's, uh, yeah, maybe I just go for this connection, get this down. I think that's fine. I really like tile number 24 here, but at the same time, I think I'm going to try to save my silver. I mean, my, yeah, my silver for the next phase. I mean, five and a six works pretty good, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, again, like I'm not getting to sell the stuff I want to sell, so that's annoying. 
I could place this wa this ship over here and I could pick up the six, but that doesn't feel that fun. Um, definitely want to take workers into the next phase. So maybe we just take workers and just go ahead and place this water, I guess. I think that's fine. So if we look at the connections, I have a connection to this water if I pick up a yellow or if I pick up an animal, I can try to make a play for this green tile somehow. Okay, oh man, that, those sheep are interesting. I think I should be getting those and I should be picking up one other water on the board somehow. It's fine if our opponent gets the mine. But this yellow tile number 14 looks really strong. Plus, it will give us connection to that water. So let's do that. Let's grab yellow tile number 14. Let's grab a water because we don't want our opponent picking up. Actually, our opponent could pick up both these water. Then I'm stuck deciding if I want to go for that water. Yeah, with the one, we have to take the sheep because why not? They, they have two, so we can also start building up. The thing is I'm debating with the four, what to do with the four. Should I just go ahead and pick up a water or should I go for a bank or something? Or maybe, maybe even go for the mine, just stop them from getting mines. Thing is, let's just play it safe and get a water. Maybe there's an argument for going for the mine or going for the chickens here, but yeah, I'm going to have to pick up one water anyway, so might as well do it now. And I picked up yellow tile number 14 from the black market because it's, it's a really strong tile early on. It's only phase B. And every time I take workers, it gives me four instead of two. So that's pretty efficient and main reason is basically to get this connection to this water over here or if I place the sheep over here I can either place a one or a two and get connection to this castle if I want yeah, I think our opponent should be taking a mine and they should be taking a water I think or they could take a mine, they could place the castle and take a water. So they have a few options going. Okay, they actually go for the bank, which makes sense too, because that will allow them to... That will allow them to pick up both the water at some point somehow. Okay, so we got a six and then we got a two. So I actually am fine with this. So I'm going to place that over there and with the two. Now I could pick up yellow tile number 10, which is extremely strong, but I'm just going to go for the castle right now. Yeah, yellow tile number 10 is extremely strong on this board because it lets you change the die result by one whenever you want to place a ship or animal tile. And this board, you have a lot of like you have this big region of six animals that you can complete. There's a lot of water on the edges that you can work towards. So it's uh, pretty useful. Okay, one and a two is also pretty good. Hmm. With the two, I could place this guy here. Just get connection to that water for when we need it. Our opponent with the four and a four is really unfortunate for them because it's not easy for them to go for that water. With the one, we could just pick this guy and I'm just tempted to pick up this tile. Let's just do it.
another move that I was thinking was place the castle, pick up the church, place the church with the two and then pick up the style. Then I'm left with four actions and... three tiles but that's fine so like i said i'm i'm okay with our opponent finishing their animals that's fine with me so with the six i'm actually going to sell over here because that clears up space for more water plus that makes sure that i go into a new round with two silver and with the five we will just take workers because Taking workers is a really strong action for us. With the yellow tile number 14. Now the ideal role for me would be to place this water somehow. And yeah, it's uh, perfect roles. So we place this guy with the one. And it allows us to save a worker when placing this water with the two. We pick up double goods over here. One and a five. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm good. I'm good with that move. I think at some... Now, we have good connections. I think I would like to get another yellow just to get closer to that region. We are two steps ahead of our opponent. So, that's good. The mines are fine. I'm actually not too worried about the mines. Yeah, I definitely want yellow tile number 15. The thing is, can our opponent pick up both the water in this case? I don't think so. Let me just confirm it. They have a five and a three and this. So if the five they take this, oh, they can take both the water if they want. Right? Three and a five. They need one, two, three, three workers. They have three workers. Yeah. So I'm going to have to pick up a water in this case. Question is... Could pick up a water here and we could pick up an animal here. Okay, that's fine. That way I'm making progress towards animals and at the same time keeping the water lead. I was also tempted to pick up the castle, but I think it's fine if we don't. Yellow tile number 15 and we have one and a five. So we need to pick up some twos, threes and fours. And there is a two on the board. There's a four and a three coming up, so I'm gonna try to pick up one or both of those goods. I probably would have been fine giving up both the animals to our opponent, but I don't want to make it super easy for them to finish their animal region. Okay. Um, that is fine. I wish I could have placed it over here though. Yeah, I don't want to spend two workers. I don't think so.
okay um so our opponent adds a tile takes a tile and they pick up that okay so we roll a five and a one which is pretty good now i have an opportunity to pick up this pigs as well and i think that will be a very strong position to be in I think if I actually go here, can place the castle here and also pick up these pigs. Now I have really good connection going on the board right now. Like our opponent also has a decent connection just coming through the middle like this. Um, we kind of started like this and then we just kind of created that loop. If you look at the goods, there's some really nice goods on the board. Okay. Oh man, if I pick up this one, I'm getting both two and four. Two and a four, which I need for... Which I need for yellow tile number 15. So I think a very logical move that I see in this case is... I guess I could sell the one too. And then place the water with the four. We have a two and a three. Just trying to see if I should sell the one. I think let's sell the five. And we have one and we'll get the two and four. And then this water we can place here to pick up these triple goods. Okay, and now we can just take workers and then place this pig on the board. And I think that should be good. Hoping for yellow tile number 25 to show up at some point. So let's see. Six and a six is uh, just Perfect. Gives me connection to the last water that we weren't connected to yet. And we can just take workers. So we are two animals away from completing our region of six. Our opponent needs three more animals. We can try and block them. It's fine if they complete the mines before us, but um, I'm going to make it challenging for them to go for the animals. Should probably watch out for their carpenter's workshop a little because um, it is a lot of points for them. So I could pick up this, I could pick up this, and I could go for this. Does that make sense? So I keep the water lead and I pick up two animals, making it hard for them. Uh, sure, yeah, that's fine with me. Mm, let me try and think one more time. This style is pretty good for them too. Trying to see if there's a way I can take this castle instead. Okay, so if I take this, if I take the castle and I place it with the four, um, yeah, I think this is probably more safer. Maybe there is a play where I pick up these cows with the six. I buy a castle, I place a castle and I pick up a water and then I leave two animals for our opponent to decide if they want to go for. But yeah, 
this way i guess i'm guaranteeing that i okay i really need to watch out what our opponent is doing at this point good thing is we have a lot of goods so I'm almost tempted to go for this style. So how many points does our opponent have right now? One, two, three, 12 points. Okay, that's not bad. Thought it was a lot more. Please this guy here. I'll just go for the mine. It's fine if they pick up 21. Ideally, ideally I should be picking up 21 because I want to complete this region of four myself. Um, but I'm hoping I can get one of these yellow tiles, if not both. I mean, not both, uh, just one of them, yeah. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. 24 points accumulated by our opponent. That is nice. We can do that if we want to. Yeah, I think... I think I'm okay with finishing my animals. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to make it impossible for my opponent to finish this region. Sell a bunch of goods. Just replace the water. I think that is fine with me. So I definitely want to complete the mines before our opponent now. And ideally um, complete my yellows too, actually, now that I think about it. Yeah, our opponent is finishing their buildings and castles before us. It's, yeah, it's it's not ideal, but hey, it's fine. A oh man, three workers feels just a little harsh. Can I do that? Hmm. I haven't placed a single building. I kind of feel bad for doing that. That's okay. We won't feel too bad. Four and a four for our opponent. So what, what colors are we missing? We have a two and a four. We are missing a three. For yellow tile number 15. Okay, our opponent can still uh, complete their animals. That's uh, surprising. But we going to make sure it's not that easy for them. Let's get yellow tile number 25 because we need it. Um, guess we'll take the chickens. Discard the chickens. We'll take the other chickens. 
think that's okay. There is a small chance we don't get to complete our mines and I'd be really, really sad. I mean, complete our water. I'd be really sad if that happens, but hopefully we get it through. So if you look at the points that our opponent has gotten so far, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, 24 points, plus four, 28 points. Oh man, they must really not like us putting buildings because they have just, uh, yeah, really gone for those buildings like crazy. That's okay, let's discard this guy. Okay, so I can complete the mines before our opponent. They cannot buy this mine, okay. Two and a four for our opponent. They can put a two down, but what can they do with a four? Um, I guess they can put a two down too and get the other water. So is it? Hmm. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I don't think I have enough actions to actually. Still need a three and a four. Yeah, I did not pick up a water because I know my opponent cannot pick up both the water. Well, they can now, can they now? No, they cannot pick up both the water now either. I have a three, right? I mean, we just keep it safe. Yeah, there, we'll just keep it safe. So I have how many turns left? Four and a four, man, the die are just not in our opponent's favors. Um, trying to think what to do here. We need to sell a three and a four. Try that. Okay. 
Okay, so I think that's pretty good. Well, actually, no, that's not pretty good. That's fine. We will just place that guy, complete our water, take this. And we did not finish our yellows, that's fine. And yeah, we win the game. Okay. GG. Yeah, our opponent did not like that we are using a lot of time, but again, hey, we have time. We did not go over time, so that's fine. Okay, let's see if we can get in one more game. So how much did we get? I think we got like plus four elo. Yeah. Let's do identical board first edition. Now we need a real time fast paced game. Okay, there it is. Yeah, hopefully we'll be able to queue up a game quickly. Let's see. Okay, might create another table just for the sake of it. Let's keep it. Yeah, let's do 2019 edition. Let's do random board. Switch it up a little. I was on mute, I think, but yeah, I said this is the 2019 edition. So let's see if our opponent accepts this game. I thought I accepted. Did the game already start? Oh, okay. Start in the middle. One and six. Okay. I think we'll just go for that. Yeah, I really want to maintain first player, but I think it's going to be hard on this board. And this is also like the random board 2019 edition. So yeah. Okay. So our opponent decides to start in the middle. We also start in the middle. A lot of smaller regions. I guess our opponent also has these small one space mines, these castles and these building regions of two and four that they can work on. Two and a five for them. Okay, makes sense. Three and a three for us, so we could grab that. We could go four and then 
thing is do i like any of these styles more than the other we could build up like a really strong economy here question is what tile do i like more is it yellow tile number two? i think i'm going to go for 11 here it's a pretty solid tile and i can try it it'll help me put the the mine down easier the downside is i don't have an easy connection to this Hmm. Okay, I'm just following an unorthodox way to play this round really don't want to put that water down till the end just keep doing some wonky stuff my thinking is i'm trying to reach this mine and i want to sell a good so i can buy this guy and yeah we didn't get an ideal role but hey i don't think all is lost three and a five right sure let's do take workers if i'm able to place that tile i actually don't think i even need to place my ship can just take it into the next round. So close to putting that mine down. That's okay. Oh, actually, I can put it down. Oh, yeah, I forgot I have yellow tile number 11. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm going into a new round with zero workers, but I think it's fine in this case just because I got a connection to that castle and every time I take workers, I'll get four instead of two. So I think it's worth it. Oh man, am I just going for like an insane... Utility game this round? Seems like it. Opponent is going to try and go for this ship. Man, selling goods is going to be so much stronger for them. Yeah, I don't think I can give that up.
could almost discard this style. It sounds a little crazy. Okay, they did not go for this water. That changes things. The fact that they did not go for this water means that I have a lot more freedom to put my water down. Because I'll always get four workers from here. Our opponent is completing their... No, they're not completing their mines. Okay, let's put this guy... Let's actually sell with the one. Let's put this guy down. We have a two. We need three, four, and five. I'm going to take this because it's useful for them. Our utility game is looking really strong right now. We have yellow tile number 3, we have yellow tile number 11, and yellow tile number 14. I think that's kind of like the dream setup. All I need to do is just take workers, put this water down, and pick up every single col color that shows up from this point on. It's probably even fine if I let my opponent complete their mines because the amount of income that I'm going to get from this tile is insane. And I put it over there because it gives me an instant connection to this castle. I'm just trying to see where to go. Now this tile is still useful, but I think I'd rather save these three tiles for some end game scoring. Hmm. Two, three, and six. So we need four and five, right? Let me just decide if that's what I want to do. Yeah, we'll do that. It's fine. Actually, I could also do this. Maybe there's an argument for us to for us to have picked up the market, but I think it's okay. Three and one six, we need four and five. I'm not going to buy anything because I will be at one silver if I go into the new round. Just going to wait it out. I will start focusing on some buildings now. I think we have the two step water lead. I wonder if we can actually stop our opponent from finishing their region of six water in this game. Let's see.
Okay, so no crazy tiles have shown up so far. I will start putting down animals like crazy. Yeah, I wonder if we just let them get the mines or we like, do I still do something like this? Like, is this still a play? I guess I could go for the carpenter's workshop too. Yeah, let's still compete for the mines. An easier move would, would have been just to go for the castle with the two, the water with the four, and maybe still the carpenter's workshop because I still want to finish these regions at some point. And I'm really glad I picked up yellow tile number three. That's fine if our opponent finishes that region before us. Yeah, we definitely want to go over here. Question is what building do we want? Opponent cannot take that. They can take that. Don't really need this guy yet. See the discarded buildings, okay. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get a connection to this guy. Pick up that. It's okay. Yeah, I do want to pick up some animals. Or we could do, we could sell this guy. What is it? One and a six. So we can get a one and a five. Okay. Could go for double fours here. Okay. I think I'm trying to pick up these goats. Enough of a water lead, so I'm not too concerned about not getting enough water. I think that is the role I wanted, kind of. Could instead do this too. It's pretty solid as well. Or I can pick up the goats and start working on these animals. I think maybe I'll do that instead. Okay, score is 72 to 72. Let's 
go ahead and finish that region get connection to that last mine Our opponent is starting to go for like a lot of goods right now. We do see yellow tile number 25 show up, so that's that's good. We want to see some high scoring yellow tiles at this point in the game. The one I'll just pick up a water and with the six, I think I can just get the mine here. Just making it harder for my opponent to decide if they want to finish this before me. If they want to, they'll have to buy it and place it and just take a water with the five. Nothing too crazy going on. The buildings that I'm looking at right now are this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. I need one of each to finish this region of five. This Tile can be useful for us to, okay, so our opponent does decide to do that. I'll just complete this. Wondering if there's anything else we can do now. Okay, I'll just go ahead and bought a boarding house so that if I place it, I can pick up one of these warehouses. Trying to wonder if it's worth stopping my opponent from picking up the coats. They'll have to spend a few workers if they want to. You know what? I am just going to focus on... Man, this is a hard decision. Yeah, I think finishing this yellow is a little more priority for me. Plus with this style, with the carpenter's workshop, I can hope more of them show up later in the game. So we'll see. I 
Oh, two have already been already come up. Okay, one, two, three, four. Three more can come up. There's seven buildings of each type. Okay, three and a three. Three and a three is fine. It's okay. Should allow us to complete this region of Phi. Okay, let's see how this goes. Okay, our opponent continues to make some big moves. wonder if it's worth it's a tough decision yeah, I think I will finish this for sure I have like nine plus four points above my opponent. Maybe I just let them get the animal. Sure. Because they also want this guy to complete this region of six if they want to. Yeah, it would have been like a hard block for me if I wanted to. Look at their buildings. They cannot take this guy. They can take one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. Is that good enough? Yeah, I forgot they have these two building of uh, three. So this would have been four plus six, ten points for them. So that's why I decided to decided to block them with this. They don't have enough water to complete their water. So I'm not too concerned. And I already have a water in storage. Just hope they don't block me on yellows. That would suck. And I hope they let me pick up t tile 21 too. Okay, they are completing their animals. That is fine with me. Yeah, that's fine with me.
getting one, two, three, four, four, four is a 16 points. That should be enough to counteract whatever bonuses they get from animals. I hope so. Let's see. Plus, I can finish a few of these regions too, actually, so. Let's play a water. buy this okay just trying to finish regions over here my opponent has a lot of points coming but yeah hopefully our bonuses are enough to counteract that It's pretty close, but I will finish my water too. What if I just do it something like this? That move I'm not sure about. This is four points for me. We want to three, one, two, three, four. Is four points too. One, two, three, four. Do it like that it's okay it's a 10 point difference but i think we have already won the game bonuses are a lot more than our opponent uh, almost low on time there but yeah that is game i got 29 bonus points it was 166 to 167 but we that 29 bonuses from yellows really helped us out. Um, I think this worked out pretty good, like having the two carpenters workshop and two boarding houses and having the yellow tile bonuses. And our early game economy in this game was crazy. Just having this tile, this tile. I'm really glad I picked up this yellow tile number 11 that helped us complete our yellows a lot more efficiently and also put these mines and then yellow dial number three was really strong. Our opponent had a good economy too, but they just didn't have any scoring tiles and they didn't, didn't finish this big region or this big region. But yeah, overall, I mean, yeah. The, they 
probably could have gotten the water advantage at some point but they didn't go after water that aggressively so it worked out in our favor okay so we got plus six in game five Okay, bringing us closer to 600 so what are we 573 so we are like 27 elo off okay getting close getting close but yeah that's it for this video um let me know how you like the games and um yeah any other comments or suggestions i will see you all in the next one bye